After more than a month of keeping hope alive, not the ending family and friends had hoped for. Tucked behind rows of graves at this rural cemetery in Norman, flowers now marking the entrance to the woods where Alicia Watts' remains were found. Yeah, this, this is sad. It's sad. And, and, and like I said, I've, I've been that Audi always way heavy on me because I'm like, where does it where does it fit? Where does it come into play? And I, I really believe that he moved her in the Audi. But then but then how about this? They had had they had her car. But and then when they filled out the application for the search warrant, they had murder on there. Where did they get murder from? It, I'm, right. I'm sure there are some details we don't have. Right. But I feel like they knew then this was murder. But how? They at that point they only had her car. Yeah, that's why they kept uh, kept the case very very tight, airtight, not to let any information leak as to you know what they were doing and how were they uh proceeding in the process of the uh investigation right and that's, and that's probably why you know he felt maybe calm and comfortable because he didn't know if they were really still looking at him because they kept saying we don't have a suspect you know what i'm saying so maybe that's why he stayed and that's what they found him at now that's a good hand to play I yeah, have right. to say, it was a damn oh. good hand to play. <laughs> right. And and here's the thing, because, if, again, if, if she was missing from his house, I mean, naturally, they would search around there. Right. You understand what I'm saying? But he took her all the way back near her house at 40 Fox Hill. So, um, I mean, like I said, I feel like that was kind of clever. So at this point, I want to know how she was found. Like, did, 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 you know, was it a, a bystander, you know, who, who stumbled across her or, I mean, what led them to her body is what I want to know. Yeah. Friends and family were told it may have been cell phone pings and digital evidence that led investigators to search near the cemetery. A new warrant for James Dunmore suggests the murder itself would have happened back in mid-July. That's around the same time Alicia went missing. How long do you think her body had been there? We're, we're, we're suspecting somewhere around the 18th of July. So they had digital evidence that led them to her body. Digital evidence can be quite a few things, like cell phone pings, um, digital photographs, car GPS system, and we know the Mercedes that she drove and also the Audi that was registered to James has a GPS navigation system. So that could have gave them information. And then also ATM transactions. If they drove out all the way out there, you know, did they stop and get gas and use a credit card? Or, you know, did they go to the ATM? I mean, all of those things can be considered digital evidence. Do you think she was killed in that area and placed there or killed somewhere else and placed there? It's our belief that uh, I think she was killed in that area. Okay, wait a minute. Think about what he's telling us. Many of us suspected that something happened to Alicia on Sunday, which is why her and James missed the comedy show. But police believe that she was killed on Tuesday in the area in which she was found. So I'm like, okay, when they say in the area, are they meaning out there in the woods or meaning maybe at her house? Because we, we do know that she only lived 20 minutes away from where they found her. Hmm? So what does this mean? Because it sounds like that police may have proof that she was alive on Tuesday. And I'm thinking like, what proof could they possibly have? Because if we're thinking the car's GPS navigation system that wouldn't prove that she was alive. That would just prove that somebody was on the move in one of those cars in that area. And then when you think about cell phone pings, that wouldn't necessarily prove that she was alive unless she actually spoke to somebody on Tuesday or left a voicemail for somebody on Tuesday and that phone pinged in the area in which she was found. You understand what I'm saying? Now, I know they're talking a lot about digital evidence, um, and, and we know surveillance is, is one of them, camera footage. I wonder if Alicia made it back to her house. I wonder if she got like a, a security cameras or a ring doorbell, 
ring camera. It sounds as if they had proof that she was alive on Tuesday and she was alive in that area. What y'all thinking? Let me know in the comments. I'll be back.